Okay, here is my demonstration on how to make digital mosaics. First, you're going to go to the shape tool and you're going to choose the first rectangle. Put the crosshairs at the top left and drag all the way to the bottom right corner to create a rectangle the size of your drawing. Now go to the border tool. You're going to get to know this well and click transparent. We don't want a border. Then go to fill and I'm going to choose black. This shape and this color, this is going to be my grout. Now I want to insert the image of the thing I want to make a mosaic of. So I am going to do a crewmate from Among Us. So you should know how to insert images at this point. It does not have to be a PNG image. All right, this one just happens to be. So now here we go. I'm going to go to the line tool, select line. I go to polyline. This is how we're going to make our tesserae. So now I get crosshairs. I'm going to click to start and then move down and click and click and click and then close my shape. There's my first tesserae, but it's not the right color. So I go to border, make the border transparent, go to fill. And now I'm going to try and match the color of the section I'm in. It doesn't have to be perfect. All right, but get it as close. And I'm just going to make some more tesserae. Click and click and click and close the shape. And click, 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 and close the shape. And you keep going. And when you do this, really try and follow the um, shape of the image you are trying to recreate. So I'm trying to go along the curve, but notice how my placement of my tesserae, I'm leaving space in between them. All right, that's because when I um, get rid of the image of my Among Us character itself, I want to be able to see the black in between my tesserae so I can see the grout. So now I'm in a new section, I need to match that color. So I go up to my fill, I choose a different color, one that I think is going to match better, and I'm clicking and clicking and clicking and closing my shape. And I just keep going. Now, sometimes it is hard to see what you're doing. So the zoom tool will really help. Look how much easier it is now to see everything. So I went up to the zoom and I chose 200%. And the zoom is that little magnifying glass you get there up at the top. And again, I'm trying to match the fill color of my tesserae. Pretty close, doesn't have to be perfect. So I have done um, just about enough. I will now want to check my work. So I need to get rid of my character. Oh, I, I want to see just my tesserae. So I go to that arrow. That's the select tool. And I'm going to click on my character to select it. I'm going to go to arrange, order, send to back. So it's behind my black rectangle. So all I see is my tesserae. Looks good. That left pointing arrow, that's the undo button. I click that and my picture comes right back. Okay, so that's how you check is you go to the select tool, you select your picture, go to arrange, send to back, and then undo. And the undo button can help you if you ever oops, goof up and do something wrong. So now I'm going to show you something to avoid and that's making giant tesserae. All right, don't think you can save time by just making like super huge tesserae um, and getting the whole thing done in like two minutes. If you make tesserae that are too big, it no longer looks like a mosaic. All right, so see I've got this one giant tesserae. I hit select, select my image, go to arrange, 
order sent back so I can see my test right. It just doesn't look right. It's not going to look like a mosaic. So I hit undo. Now I'm going to hit select and delete that big one and go back to my polyline and make better sized tesserae. Just to review, to check your tesserae, to remove your image, you are going to go to the select tool, the arrow, select your image, go up to arrange, order, send to back, take a look, see how things are going. You can at this point click on your tesserae and move them around if you want to. I was noticing that the spaces in between some of my tesserae were a little wider than others, so you can adjust your tesserae um, to try and get the spacing to be more even. But if it looks good, now it's a little trickier to get your image back. Okay, I can't just click undo because I'm going to undo um, moving my tesserae. So I'm going to click on my black rectangle, go to arrange, order, send to back. So I just moved my rectangle behind my Among Us crewmate. So now I can see it again. So this is what you are going to do for the practice assignment, um, is you are going to create a mosaic of this Among Us crewmate. Um, this is already in the practice assignment. Uh, this image is already ready for you, so you don't need to go find the image. It's already set. And as you can see, it's a pretty simple technique once you get the hang of it. Um, and just remember to use the poly tool and click, 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 click and make closed shapes. Remember to use the zoom tool to get in close to make it easier. And remember to um, use the select tool, select your image, and send to back to check your work. And you only need to do the top half for the practice assignment just to save some time. So quick review of tools you'll need. Know where the line tool is. Make sure you choose the polyline. The zoom tool is the magnifying glass. I like 200%. The arrow is the select tool. You can select your image, go up to Arrange, Order, Send to Back to send it behind your background to see your tesserae and then undo when you're done.